messaged me about this in my YouTube comments and on Twitter as well. But if you saw any of the LEGO Marvel 2 New York Comic Con gameplay videos, you might have noticed that Venom 2099 is right in the bottom row. So if you look closely, you can see that this character is actually going to have two more forms. And before I continue, because I'm sure someone in the comments is going to ask, how do you know there are two costumes and not one? Well, what I did was I counted the time between Shocker's character tokens and Venom's character tokens. It's a bit hard to explain, but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. I just counted the seconds between both characters, and then you can see that Venom has more than one costume. Firstly, one costume that I'm 99.9% .9 sure is taking up one of the slots in the Venom 2099 category is Cronstone in his normal clothes. If you know your basic information about Venom 2099 or watched my video, you'll know that Cron Stone is the host to the symbiote. So now what I'm thinking is that one of the slots is Cron Stone in his civilian clothes. It makes sense too since Peter Parker is under the Spider-Man slot and Baby Groot and Adult Groot are both under the Groot character slot. And I think just about every character that has a civilian clothes option also has transformation animations. So the perfect example for this is Spider-Man. He can transform from Peter Parker to Spider-Man and vice versa. So I think that Venom 2099 will also have the ability to transform back into Cron Stone and will hopefully also have unique transformation animations. The second character that I think is taking up the other slot is Scorpion 2099. Because while I was doing my research on Venom 2099, I found out that Cron Stone also transformed into Scorpion 2099 some point in the comics. So maybe his third transformation is Scorpion 2099. I mean, it's possible. I was thinking that it could be like Iron Man's armor wheel in LEGO Marvel Avengers, like where when you hold down Triangle on PS4 or Y on Xbox, a character wheel appears, and then maybe you get to choose which armor, or in this case, which version of Kron you want to be, Venom or Scorpion. And maybe he'll even have a unique transformation animation for Scorpion 2099, but we'll just have to wait and see. Fellas, Scorpion 2099 is sick, like one of his hands are mutated into a massive pincer and he can also walk on walls. Just imagine this guy as a Lego minifigure, that would be so cool. Nonetheless, another possibility is a big fake version of Venom 2099. This would be pretty cool as well, but if I had to choose one, I'd easily go with Scorpion 2099. I also saw one of my followers on Twitter mention that the other two slots could even be Toxin or Anti-Venom, which is a good guess as well. I'm pretty sure they're in the game, I don't see why they wouldn't be playable since there's a really high demand for them and it's not like they're hidden behind anything Fox related like the X-Men or Fantastic Four. So I think that Toxin and Anti-Venom are in the game, but they're just in the group with the 100 plus characters that have yet to be officially revealed. Anyways guys, there are two unknown characters in the Venom 2099 slot, let me know what characters you think are taking up the individual slots. LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 comes out on November 14th in North America and 17th in Europe. It's for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Let me know which console...